Hi, my name is Gail Dealworth, and I love J. Ross TV. What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? This your boy J. Ross down in the basement, sending this out to my 10 million fans, y'all. Hey, we got a special treat down here, y'all. We got Miss Gail Dealworth. Gail is what they call a personal flight attendant, assistant, big shot, whatever. You know, she, she that chick y'all see on them corporate jets and all that who take care of the musicians and all that type of noise. And I was just asking her, though. Matter of fact, I got, I got to send a shout-out. She in town. like to welcome her to the basement. Hey. And uh, but I wanted to find out, like, hey, cats. Oh, yeah, cats have they uh, instruments, basses, and double basses, and, and uh, laptops, and all that. What, how that what's the proper pro protocol for a musician? The proper protocol for musicians is to definitely have a padded case so that it keeps it from getting smashed, damaged, cracked, and all of that good stuff, especially spillage and all that. But basically having it in a good soft case to keep it from getting uh, damaged. And also your laptops, you want those in a good case as well. And definitely don't want them in the seat back pockets. I know it seems like the best place for it, but if in case of an emergency, uh, you don't want it flying all over the cabin, so it's best to place it either underneath the seat or in the overhead compartment. Well, let me ask you this, Joe. Now, like, for the folks with some money, is it is it cool for them to like rent maybe not rent but uh, purchase uh two tickets and like if you pay double base, what's what what's the protocol for that one? The protocol for that is purchasing a seat next to you, preferably what will be assigned is a window seat. Uh, you will have it placed in the window seat and it will be strapped to the seat, and you'll be on the other side of the seat. So it'll be the um sorry it would have the instrument strapped to the seat. And you would be on the other side of the seat. Uh, we cannot block the exit. I mean, yeah, we cannot block the row with an instrument. So it would have to be at the window. So what about uh, liability? Say, say if uh, somebody base break or whatever, who fault is uh, that? The, 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 it's not the airlines. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's cool. That's cool. So it's not the airline's <laughs> fault. So like now musicians. Now if you check it and then something happened down there, it's a possibility they may be able to do something because they probably will be liable because you checked it. But if you brought it on with you and if something happened to it, then it's you're on your own. Now most musicians they don't like to have a uh, uh, instruments flown in the cargo hold. So how did, is it a way to bypass that? You got any secrets well, you can tell us? Yeah. Without buying another ticket? Right. If they have a closet, we have a closet on board. If you're really nice to the flight attendant and ask them really nice, not demanding, and smile, they may put it up for you. Oh, just so being courtesy will take you a long way. Yes, well. Let me ask you this then. Are the majority of the musicians and, and artists that you come in contact with, are they courteous individuals for the most uh, part? For the most part, yeah. For yeah. the most part. I haven't had any bad ones that I can tell you about. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I was going to ask next. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, so uh, I forgot what I was going to ask because I kind of want to know who the jerks are. But, Ooh, I can't say that on air. All right. I feel you, but I'm going right. to find out who y'all are. I'm going to front y'all out on J. Ross TV. Right. You know, so now flying. Uh, now I don't know nothing about uh, pressure and all that old stuff. Is it? I can't it, say Naomi is. Sometimes she can be a bit difficult, but she she's a model. She's not an actor. I mean, a musician. Naomi Campbell. Yes. Ooh, Lord! Uh, you didn't tell me you had us. Shoot, we could have hooked up. <laughs> Hey, now on them private jets, uh, 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 they got stripper poles on them jets? Nah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, we just messing around down in the basement. Once again, we got Miss Gail no, Dealworth no. hanging out in St. Louis, y'all. For she, she only going to be here for a short time. And uh, we just uh, getting everything together for the big throwdown. And just want to get that information out to you. So, cats, y'all know when you're going on the airplane, you know, be courteous, man. Be nice. Be professional. It goes a long way. We might send you a drink if we like you. Anybody ever curse you out? Uh, mm, you can't say that. Probably that. not to my face. Oh, it's like that? Well, they probably walk away. They ain't going to say it to my face. But hey, y'all, be nice to the be nice to the people that's taking care of your instruments. Well, if like I said, they know if they cuss us out, then they get thrown off the plane. So that's why, like I said, they won't say it to our face. But. Hey, now what's the? Uh, is it a certain altitude that uh, that people can use their laptops at, or you can just use them whenever you get ready? No, at eighteen thousand feet, they'll give us the ding, and then we can let them know. You know, because on some of our planes we have Wi-Fi, and then we'll let you know when you can use your uh, uh, electronics at that time. Is that a pretty expensive proposition? Uh, usually it's twelve ninety five per session. 
Session. Session. So what's a session? Your flight. Oh, that ain't bad then. Depending on how long your flight is, though. So the flight the continuous is not one session? No. You So you pass through zip, different zones and that's a session? No. The flight, if it's like from here to Atlanta, it's okay. one session. Once we land, because at, at 18,000 feet, it's going to power down. You're going to automatically lose everything. Wait a minute, though. Sessions. I don't get that. Maybe a lot of from people probably lose their money. Once we take off from St. Louis... Going to Atlanta. That's twelve dollars and ninety-five cents. Twelve dollars and ninety-five cents. Once we hit ten thousand, eighteen thousand feet, you'll hear the ding, and then they'll let you know you can use your electronics. Once we're coming back down, they'll tell you you need to power down your electronics because you will lose information if you do not power down at the eighteen thousand. See, y'all didn't know that. Some learned. Hey, I didn't even know that, but it's something new every day on J. Ross TV, y'all. But yes. well, we gonna get ready to roll up out of here, y'all. Got Miss Gail Dealworth in the house, y'all. Yes. Special treat, so y'all know how to handle it next time you up in the air, y'all. We out of here. Peace. Peace.